finished my homework and now I gotta enjoy a movie before bed. What movie are we thinking today, Sky? Frozen, Cinderella, Snow White. Hmm, this is a hard choice, but I think I'll go with Frozen. Hey, loser, still watching baby movies like a little baby. Chad, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at football school? Nah, they gave me a week off of school so I could practice my push-ups. <laughs> probably just sick of how annoying you are and use that as an excuse to send you home. Hey, you better watch it, Sky. Everyone there loves me. Why don't you tell that to someone who cares? Well, why don't you just go walk under a ladder? That was the stupidest thing you've ever said, and you say a lot of stupid things. Why the heck would I walk under a ladder? Whatever. I wouldn't expect a small child like you to understand anyways. Give me a break, Chad. You and I both know I'm way Okay, well, my friend Mikey at football school said that if you walk under a ladder or break a mirror, you get seven years of bad luck. You're so dumb, Chad. Bad luck isn't real. Yeah, well, Mikey's sister accidentally broke a mirror, and the next day she ended up in a wheelchair. How do you explain that, smarty pants? It's probably just a coincidence, you dimwit. All right, well, don't come crying to me when you end up in a wheelchair. Chad, just stop talking. You're just trying to scare me, and it's not working. I may be 12 years old, but I am not that gullible. Anyway, seeing your face ruined my night, so I'm going to go to bed now. Good night. Night, little sis. Hope you don't get bad luck. The next day. All right, class. Now, don't forget, you have a book report due on Monday and a quiz on Friday. Have a great weekend. Thank God.
gotta be super careful with this guy. I don't wanna... Don't worry. I got it. Give it to me. Wait, no, stop. <laughs> oh, no, my birthday cake. Oh, man, Kenzie, I'm so sorry. I didn't know how that happened. No, Sky, it's my fault. I should've just let you take in it. We know I'm clumsy with that stuff. Oh, no, girls, what happened? I dropped the cake on the ground. I'm sorry, Mom. Don't worry about it, Kenzie. I can't just buy you a new one tomorrow. But unfortunately, I do have some bad news. Oh, no, what is it? Unfortunately, your Aunt Jane's flight got canceled because there's a snowstorm in Bloxburg. I'm so sorry, Kenzie. I know you were looking forward to seeing her. No, I can't believe it. I was so excited. How could this have happened? Ugh, must have just been some bad luck. It's okay, Kenzie. Everyone has bad days sometimes. Tomorrow will be much better. I promise. Thanks, Mom. Well, I gotta get home now, Kenzie. My mom made lasagna for dinner and I'm starving. See you tomorrow, birthday girl. The next morning. Yeah! I swear it was in here with all my other dresses. Mom! Good morning, sweetheart. Happy birthday. Thanks, Mom. But do you know where my birthday dress went? I put it in your closet after we bought it. Is it not there? I can't find it anywhere, Mom. This is serious. I need your help. Kenzie, don't cry. Why don't we just go and buy a new one? It'll be a little birthday gift for you. Really, Mom? Are you sure? Of course. Anything for my little girl. Oh, thank you, Mom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A few moments later. Hello. the fish. What? Why? I mean, oh yeah, okay, that's no big deal. Sorry, Kenzie. Have a good birthday. I'll uh, see you on Monday. What did he say, Kenzie? He canceled on me. He said he can't come because he's babysitting his fish. <laughs> My birthday sucks. Oh, Kenzie, don't cry. You'll see Josh on Monday at school. Oh, and by the way, I have to go into work for a little bit. It's super urgent. The pizzas are in the oven. I take them out in five minutes. Gotta go. Bye. My birthday is completely ruined. My dress went missing. Josh has to babysit his fish. Auntie Jane's flight got canceled. We dropped my birthday cake. And now my mom left me. This day sucks. Don't worry, Kenzie. We still have time to turn it around. House guy. Well, we have each other and that's all that matters. Come on, let's go eat some pizza. Do you smell that sky? Is something burning? Kenzie, your house is on fire. Oh my gosh, quick. We have to put it out. Moments later. That was a close call. Sky? Sky! I think I know what's going on, Kenzie. I think you have the bad luck curse. Huh? What are you talking about? All of these bad things started happening to you after you walked under that ladder. Oh my gosh, Sky, you're right. All of this bad luck just ruined my birthday party. What do we do? How do we fix this? Let's go look on Google. Maybe they'll know how to reverse the bad luck curse. How to reverse the bad luck curse. Please, Google, don't fail us now. Aha, here it is. You must trick another 
another person into getting bad luck the same way you did. And the curse will then be passed on to them. You think it what I'm thinking? That we're gonna be cursed with bad luck forever? No, silly. We'll trick Ayla and Ashley into walking under a ladder, then they'll get bad luck. That is a genius idea, Sky. Uh, Sky, what are you doing? Ashley, there's a huge sale happening at Rockstar right now. If you don't get there quick, all the clothes are gonna be gone. <gasps> Wait, are you serious? Come on, Ayla. We gotta go to Rockstar. See you there. Why would you say that, Sky? There's not a sale. I was just there today. Here's the plan. You and me are gonna meet her there and trick her into walking under the ladder. Then you'll transfer the bad luck curse onto her. That's a brilliant idea. Come on, let's go. Moments later. Get
All right, get in there. Ah! You're Lisa, right? We met you earlier? Yep. Well, why are you in here with us? I tried to tell Kevin he was overreacting and to let you guys free. So he called me a traitor and made me come in here. You know how we can get out of here? Don't worry, this has happened to me before. We just need to wait until they all fall asleep, which shouldn't be that long after they crash from all the sugar in the cake. Before? What do you mean before? Did this happen to you last year at Kevin's birthday too? Uh, er, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Exactly, last year. So now we just wait until they all fall asleep? Why did they just lock us in a room? Is Kevin always this mean like this? Sometimes, yeah. Later that night. It's gone really quiet out there. Do you think now's maybe our time? Now, we should move quickly because they never stay asleep for long. Lisa, why do you always talk like you've been here forever? <laughs> Come on, let's go before I miss our chance. Wait, before we go, I need to ask you two a really important favor. What is it? If you both make it out of here and I don't, please send help, anything. I need to get out of here somehow. Okay, we'll try. We promise. Thanks, you two. Thank you so much. All right, come on. I think I hear them snoring. Well, 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 is someone trying to leave my birthday party before it's over? That is so rude. Wow, I shouldn't even be shocked that it's the girls who didn't even buy me a present. And Lisa, of course. Kevin, let them go. I'll stay in their place. You all have to stay. It's my birthday, so what I say goes. Oh. Right. We made it! Oh my gosh, that was a close one. Wait a minute, what about Lisa? What happened to Lisa? She must have not ran out. What do you say to run out? Oh, no. Come on. Let's go to the police. We have to send help for her. Remember? We promised. But I'm so scared to go back there. Come on, Sky. We can't just leave Lisa there. What if it was either of us? Uh, okay. I know you're right. I'm just majorly freaked out. Come on, Sky. You got this. Okay. Let's go to the police station. Hello, young ladies. Are you in need of some policing today? Yes. We most certainly are. Well, then you came to the right place because this is the police station. This is where all the policing goes down. Well, here and out there. When we go out there, because we're the police. So if we go out there, then the policing is happening out there. You get it? We need your help. Our friend Lisa is trapped in a birthday party in a bunker. Oh, no. Well, that definitely calls for some policing out there. And maybe some policing done here. If we have to do some research or arrest someone and bring them back here or something. You get it? Can you go rescue our friend? I will certainly try. Like, right now? Oh, yes, of course. Er, uh, okay, off to the bunker I go. A few moments later. Everyone, freeze, police! Huh, that's strange. Those two girls said there was a secret party here, but it appears to be empty. Are people hiding here? Hello? Police are here to do some policing. Is anybody that needs to be policed here? Nope. Definitely, it's empty. Moments later. I'm sorry, girls, but it was empty. There were absolutely no signs of a birthday party or any type of gathering, really, because it was completely empty. There was no policing to be done. What? That is so weird. I mean, maybe the party ended and they all went home? But doesn't Kevin live there? I don't understand. Did they just rent the bunker only for the party or something? Well, whatever. If it was empty, then that means Lisa got out. Let's just move on with our lives and go get some ice cream. Wait, but what if they're all hiding or something? What if there's a room in the bunker that the police didn't check? We have to make sure that Lisa's okay. But I'm scared to go back. Look, I'm scared to go back there too, but we just need to go in there prepared. What do you mean? Well, we can't just go in there unarmed like we did before. We need to buy guns. Whoa! No? No, I mean, you're right. I just never thought I'd hear that sentence come out of your mouth. Well, there's a first for everything. Come on. A few moments later. Are you looking? Is there anybody in there? Yeah, I see Kevin and Darla and Lisa and everybody. That is so weird. I wonder why the police didn't see anyone in there. Maybe they went to the wrong bunker. Ooh, that's it. Okay, so what's the plan? We can't just go in there guns blazing. No, definitely not. People would get hurt. So what should we do? Well, we'll do what we did before. We'll wait until they all fall asleep. Ooh, good call. But how are we going to know when they all fall asleep? I don't know. It might be a while. Wait a minute. They're giving Kevin another cake. Weird. Another cake? Ow, I want two cakes in my birthday. Two? It's not fair. If Kevin can do it, then so can I. Sky, you're getting sidetracked. Sorry. Yeah, so if they're eating another cake, that means that the sugar overload will eventually make them sleepy like last time, and that's when it's our time to strike. All right, so now we wait. We wait. 
one hour later. My birthday party never ends. How is that even possible? You mean like it's always your birthday? Like your birthday never ends? That's not fair. I want my birthday to be every day. Mackenzie, why can't it always be my birthday? Because you're not a ghost. Huh? Wait, what are you saying? I think you know exactly what I'm saying, but you're just too frightened to utter the words out loud. Whatever. It's just freaky. Come on, Lisa. Let's get out of here. Lisa can never leave with you because she is a ghost. We're all ghosts. She's right. I don't know why I tried to leave with you two. I just never learned my lesson. I keep trying to leave, but the truth is that I'm stuck here at this birthday party for all eternity. And it's not fair that I asked both of you to help me because that's not actually possible. Wait, so if you're all ghosts, then these guns wouldn't even hurt you? That's right. Did you feel that? Feel what? We are Ghost Sky, and you and Mackenzie found us, which means that you now have to join us. No! Lisa, come with us! Please, just try! You'll never be able to leave, Lisa! Never! You're one of us! One of us! Come on, Lisa, just try! Try! Alright, I'll try! Security, get them! I made it out! I can't believe it! I think I might not actually be a ghost anymore! This is amazing! But how can you not be a ghost anymore? Yeah! <laughs> I thought it was just some lie ghosts spreading around to make themselves feel better, but it's true. What is? What's true? The power of friendship. The power of friendship can turn you back into a living human being. You mean the power of our friendship? Exactly. You both came back for me to try and save me because you care. And that meant that you're both true friends. And so when I ran out of the bunker with you, the power of friendship turned me back into a real person. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know how could ever repay you for this. You don't need to repay us, but actually there's one thing you could do. What's that? Maybe take us out for some ice cream? Do you want to eat some ice cream with us? Oh, I'll eat any dessert with you as long as it's not birthday cake. <laughs> yeah, you've definitely had enough birthday cake. Not me though. I still love birthday cake. Oh, Sky. <laughs> hey, girly, what'd you get for number three? Sky? Huh? Oh, sorry. I was looking at the clock. Trying to count how many more seconds we have until the big hand moves and we get closer to getting out of here. So, answer three. Oh, uh, I didn't do it yet. So, my 13th birthday is next week and you better believe that my party is going to be the best and most exclusive one this town has ever seen. Wow, just when I thought Holly couldn't think of another way to brag about how rich she is. And you wonder why I'm trying to count down the minutes until this is over? All the food is going to be flown in on our private jet. Served on golden platters and my daddy is having a water slide installed. It is going to be the coolest party ever, which means, of course, only the best of the best are invited. Here we go. Ashley, Ayla, you can consider this a save the date, but you'll be getting your formal invitation soon. Oh, and Mackenzie Sky, you probably already know, but you aren't invited. I think it would sting more if I wasn't so surprised. Whoa, 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 Holly, you can't do that. What are you talking about? My daddy No, oh, our school has a strict policy that you can't just invite some kids in your class. You need to invite everyone so that feelings don't get hurt. Ew, who made up that dumb rule? Probably some loser. It doesn't matter. If you're discussing a party in class, you need to invite everyone. That's the rule. Wait, that doesn't mean I have to invite you, Mr. Teacher Man, sir, does it? No, oh, no, that would be inappropriate. Although, I'm going to pretend that the disgust in your voice didn't hurt my feelings a little bit. Fine. Then do the lesser people in the class, and by that I mean Mackenzie and Sky, care to come? Sure, yeah, I'd love to come to your birthday party, Holly. I've always wanted to see what your house looks like. I mean, yeah, I love birthday parties. Well, just remember, this event is not just for poor people to sponge on to. There is a gift registry, and if you plan to attend, then you better select an appropriate gift from it. Sure, yeah, no problem. Oh, and just a heads up, there's a $1,000 minimum on gifts. $1,000? One hour later. $1,000? Where on earth am I going to get $1,000 from? I don't know, girly. It's not like we can just have a bake sale and make it. I don't think all the presents from my birthdays even add up to $1,000. Like, that's a lot of money. Hold on a second. 
Okay, do you hear that? Huh? Hear what, Sky? It's not like I want to go. We'll just go in there, get it, and leave. <gasps> Wait a minute. Um, excuse me? This is a private conversation, so butt out, freaks. Not so fast. Did I just hear you say you don't want to go to Holly's party? In a mansion? With a water slide? You? Of course I don't want to go. Holly's horrible. Well, yeah, but so are you. Appetizer. We have lobster, caviar, escargot, and of course, cheese pizza. Pizza, please! Coming right up. Okay, this is the coolest thing ever. You're right. Let's hit the pool and then we'll go eat. No, let's go secure our gift bags first. Remember what Ashley said? Speaking of which, where is Ashley? A few moments later. There you guys are. Yeah, and I heard Holly has a 13-tiered cake. What 
why you came, but at least stayed in the end. Who cares what Holly feels? Nobody likes her anyway. The only reason we came is to see what she got us, and now it's time to go. Yeah, this year she went all out. Gucci bags for everyone. Come on, Ayla, let's go. Do you think anyone would notice if I took two? No. Later, losers. I don't like this. What do you mean? I mean, like, Holly isn't the best, but what they're doing to her is pretty mean. I mean, think about it, girly. It is Ashley, so I wouldn't read too much into it. She's a whole different kind of evil. Yeah, I guess so. Out of my way, dweebs. Wait, where are you going? I'm out of here. The only reason I ever put up with Holly in the first place is to get one of these sweet goodie bags. I mean, seriously, that girl is awful. Who has to compare net worth? Whoa, and what do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I just came for the Gucci bag. See you, nerds. You were saying? Okay, maybe there is sort of a pattern. All right, I gotta pee, but when I get back, we need to fix this. We can't just let everyone leave this party. Oh, uh, let me know if she has a golden toilet. Jeez, this house is so big. It probably has a bathroom on every floor. <laughs> hey, Holly, are you okay? No, not really. What's wrong? You shouldn't be crying on your birthday. It's nothing. It's just I thought giving out those dumb Gucci bags would make a difference, but it doesn't. Nobody likes me, and all the gifts in the world aren't going to change that. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, come on. The only reason I throw these big, lavish parties in the first place is because I know it's the only way I'll ever get people to come over to my house. Do you know how hurtful it is when people won't hang out with you unless they're with expensive gifts? Well, this is just a thought, but maybe if you were a little nicer to some of the people at school, they would be a little bit nicer to you too. I, I don't understand. I'm super nice. I'm like the nicest person on the planet. Oh, um, well, it's uh, just like you're the richest person in Brookhaven and you have way more money than all of us and maybe pointing that out hurts people's feelings. That and asking people what their net worth is. Money really isn't everything. It's what's on the inside of the person. All the money and stuff in the world isn't gonna make people wanna be your friend. Even if I get them a million dollars? No, a true friend loves you for you and nothing in return. Trust me, Sky's my best friend and she doesn't have a penny to her name, but that doesn't matter to me. So you're saying not always buy things for people and show off how rich I am? Exactly, and although it may not seem like it, but it can kind of be a turn off. Thanks, Mackenzie. I'm sorry it wasn't nicer to you in school because you're poor. You're actually really cool. Thanks, I guess. But what am I going to do about my party? Oh, I may have an idea about that. A few moments later. See, Holly, you don't need all those people who only wanted your stuff. You just need a couple of real friends. <laughs> only three more days until it's my birthday. Oh, I cannot believe it. This is going to be the best birthday ever. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait to spend my birthday with my bestest friend in the whole wide world. Hey, girly, what's up? I'm a little busy. I was wondering if you wanted to do something in like three days for my birthday. Oh, no, I am so sorry, girly. I didn't even realize your birthday was in like three days. That is so weird. I'm busy that day, but I probably Kenzie. Hey, Josh, I was wondering if you wanted to do something for my birthday. When is it? In three days. Oh, shoot. I'm really busy that day. I'm so sorry, Kenzie. Oh, that's okay, I guess. See you around. Well, at least my other friends will want to hang out on my birthday. One eternity later. Ugh, not one single person is free on my birthday. This is going to be the worst birthday ever. Moments later. I can't believe no one is coming to my birthday. Not even my best friend is coming to my birthday. My friends hate me. What's wrong, sweetie? Nothing. Just that this is going to be the worst birthday ever in the history of birthdays. Why? Because literally everyone in the world is busy on my birthday. Oh, everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. How can I not worry when nobody likes me? Five minutes later. Kenzie is super duper upset right now. Maybe we should just tell her. What happening? It'll be so worth it. Just trust me. Okay, fine. Several days later. Maybe she'll at least be free to see me tonight. So then she can see me when the clock strikes midnight on my birthday. Hello, this is Sky. Oh my god, girly, how are you? I was just wondering, since you're busy on my birthday tomorrow, if you wanted to hang out like tonight. So then he can still technically be with me on my birthday. Sky is not able to answer the phone right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep! You have got to be kidding me. What did I ever do to deserve this? 
five minutes later. It's a go. We did it. Just remember to not mess up tomorrow. The next morning. It's my birthday! I don't care if everyone's busy. This is gonna be the best day ever. I wonder what my mom got me. Mommy! Uh, Dad? Huh. They must be making me a special birthday breakfast like they always do. What's for breakfast? Uh, that's weird. I don't smell anything. Huh. They must be bringing home like a birthday surprise breakfast or something. But they always make homemade. I don't get it. Instead of a special home-cooked meal for my breakfast, you think you could bring me home a fancy meal from like a restaurant? Ask your mother. I don't make the rules around here. Mom? We're not ruining tradition. All right, fine. Huh. Maybe they just like wanted it to be like a surprise. How are they still not back yet? Like, did they go to Narnia for this breakfast and get lost? Ugh, and there's like nothing to eat in this house. How could you not answer your daughter's call on her own birthday? That's it. It's official. This is the worst birthday in the history of stupid birthdays. <laughs> A few moments later. Ugh. Mackenzie? I was wondering if you happen to know anyone who has a birthday today. No, actually, I don't think so. Why? Do you know of anyone? I guess I don't either. See you around, George. Weird. Moments later. Mackenzie, my favorite customer. How's it going? It's all right. Can I get a birthday frappuccino? Yes, of course. Coming right up. Ugh, no one's taking the hints. What was that? Oh, nothing. I was just uh, talking to myself. Oh, no worry, silly. A few moments later. Hey! Mr. Principal! Mr. Principal! Mackenzie, what are you doing? Not much. Just wondering if you remembered my, um, um, you know, seeing if anyone knows someone with a birthday today. I do! Oh my god, really? Who? My wife. I gotta go. Thank you for reminding me. Ugh, seriously? Moments later. Ugh, what an awful birthday. All I've done is watch TV and order food online and got disappointed from every single person I saw. Not a single person remembered that it was my birthday. Well, at least I still got a birthday cake. You only got yourself to rely on, Mackenzie. No one else, just you. Everyone else sucks majorly. <sighs> Later that night. Happy birthday, girly! Happy birthday, Kenzie! Oh, what? What's going on right now? Happy birthday! Thank you, but wait a second. You guys forgot my birthday today. I mean, yesterday. You guys are a little late. My birthday ended like 10 seconds ago. We can never forget. That's a Girly? Yeah, we're your bestest friends in the whole wide Roblox. Yeah, how could you think so poorly of us? Yeah, what Sky said. Yeah, see, Josh agrees. My birthday was yesterday, you imbeciles. You missed it, and so did the rest of the world. You both are the worst friends in the whole wide Roblox. Oh, silly. I knew she'd fall for it. I'll be back. I'm just gonna go to the washroom. Hold your horses there, girly. Remember, no phones allowed in the washroom. Right, I almost forgot. I knew you would, sneaky little bugger. This should do. She'll never know. <gasps> I'm offended her home screen isn't a picture of us. So uncalled for. This plan is so genius. I can't wait to see the look on her face. It's gonna be the best birthday ever. I'm still confused. About what? About the story you just told me. It doesn't give much context. Oh, right. Well, I've been secretly planning this for months. Yeah, it's been so amazing. Yeah, and super difficult. Planning what? I surprise you for your birthday, silly. Did you really think that we forgot? What do you mean? birthday. Oh, right. You just don't understand what's going on. Here, let me clarify. Please do. Let me start from the top. So, today is actually your birthday because I planned this whole thing to make you think you were like a day ahead in time and I told everyone to go along with it. Well, almost everyone, but yeah. So, today is your birthday and no one forgot about your birthday. No wonder why the teachers get looking at me funny. Happy birthday, sweetie. Mom! I could never forget your birthday, sweetie. Never in a million Years. Thank you, Mom. I am definitely feeling a lot better now knowing that you guys didn't forget my birthday. But I'm super tired right now. Can we start this again tomorrow? Yeah, don't worry. We have a great day planned tomorrow. We just wanted to wish you a happy birthday right on the dot. The next day. It's my birthday, my real birthday, and they didn't forget. Oh, it smells so tasty. What's for breakfast? Something special. Go watch TV with your friends until it's done. Are you ready for the best day ever, Kenzie? Uh, yes. Good, you better be because it's about to start off pretty darn amazing. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Hello, everyone. I am Laura, and today is a very special day. Yes, you got that right, Laura. Today is a very special day. It's a very special birthday. For one of Brookhaven's finest, she's 
the town favorite and the best person on the planet, Mackenzie Grace Turner. Happy birthday, Mackenzie. Happy birthday to you. And we've got a little surprise for you, too. Yes, but before Ronald Stump ruins that little surprise. Hey, I wasn't going to ruin it. I know, I was just bugging you, silly. Anyways, enjoy your family breakfast, but don't take too long because Ronald Stump and I have a very special surprise for you outside when you're done. We hope you enjoy it! This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off! Um, what? Did that just happen or am I dreaming? Yes, that just happened! That's insane! Laura said I'm the best human to ever live in Brookhaven! That's not the truth, girly! She didn't say you were the best ever! I don't care! Nothing is gonna ruin this day now! Mom! Chop chop! We need to finish breakfast ASAP! Breakfast is served! Woohoo! Five minutes later... I wonder what the surprise is gonna be! Me you don't know what the surprise is? No idea, girly, but I'm kind of excited. Me too. Huh? What? What the heck is going on? Are we? Mackenzie, happy birthday. Your special gift is a helicopter ride around town. Whoa, that is insane, girly. The mayor got you a fancy helicopter ride. This is crazy. Whoa, this is one of the best gifts ever. Thank you, Laura and Mr. Stump. Hey, it's for me too. You are the best, George. Thank you so much. Well, let's get this show on the road, or should I say sky? Get it? Because I said sky as in sky your friend, but we're going into the sky. That was a terrible dad joke, and if you ever have to explain a joke, it's not a good one, FYI. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be coming on this one. What? Why not, Josh? Because he's a scaredy cat. Hey, not true. I'm just, uh, you know. I think the word you're looking for is scared. Come on, Kenzie, let's get this party and fly in. <laughs> that was funny, Sky. I know. That's why I said it. A few moments later. This is the craziest thing ever. I don't even feel real right now. What? I can't believe how cool this is. Don't scream, Sky. We've got headphones on. Yeah, that felt like you were stabbing my eardrum. Oh, uh, oopsies. One hour later. I love how the arcade is a yearly tradition for my birthday. So many good memories here. I agree, especially when I kick your butt in the high score category. Gosh, you literally always lose. You know that, right? Whatever. Well, I'm gonna crush both of you today. No way, Jose. I'll take the winner. It looks like whoever wins this match takes first, girly. Yeah, Josh is terrible at arcade games. Later that same evening. Surprise! Happy birthday, sweetie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mackenzie. Happy birthday to you. Moments later. Happy birthday, Mackenzie! I hope you have a really amazing day. I am so excited to be here. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Ayla. You're so kind. Where's Ashley? She didn't want to come, and I never want to miss someone's birthday. Don't worry about her. She's being super grumpy. Here you go, Kenzie. I brought you a birthday frap just for you. Oh my god, you're the best guy. Time to blow out the candles, Kenzie. Before I blow out the candles, I would like to thank everyone who made my birthday extremely special. I love you all. You all are the best people ever because this year was the best birthday ever. Oh, don't take the potato from me. It's all I have left. Please, whoa, a whale. Birthday, it's a birthday, a birthday day. Wake up, Scott, birthday day. Ah, Mackenzie, what are you doing here? It's in the middle of the night. No, it's the beginning of your birthday. I know, but I was sleeping. Wait, how'd you even get in here? There is no time for sleeping today, Sky. We have quite the day ahead of us. Mackenzie, please, you do this every year, and I always end up breaking one of my bones. Not this year, Sky. I'm going to make sure your birthday is perfect. Now, come on, let's go. Mackenzie, please, I want to sleep. Get up now. Okay, okay, fine, sheesh. Breakfast time. Two hours later. Mackenzie, I'm paying, so 
so you can play whatever game you want. And however many times you want. How are you able to afford that? Oh, don't worry about me. I've been saving up for this day. Cool. It's kind of crazy that we're the only ones in here. Yeah. Isn't that odd? They really should update that sign outside. It says this place opens at 9. Wow. That really is embarrassing for them. Good thing you knew they opened at 8, though. Yeah. Absolutely. That is the truth. Hey, what's going on in here? We don't open for another hour. Wait. You broke the lock on the door? That costs a lot of money. Listen, sir, I can explain. It better be a good explanation. It is. Run! Hey, get back here and give your good explanation. Don't look back, Sky. Just keep running. I can't believe you broke up the arcade, Mackenzie. That's not cool at all. I disagree, but we can talk about this later. A few moments later. Okay, now this is going to be cool, right? Sure. Where are the people, though? Did you break it? with me, but I didn't break into this place. They're here, I think. Hello, it's my friend's birthday and she deserves your presents. Why are you being so loud? This is a small building. You could have just called for us. We're here to get our hair and nails done. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. No appointment? You'll have to wait until our next opening. But there's no one here. Our next opening is at midnight. Does that work for you? Midnight? That most definitely does not work for me. Are you talking back to me, the owner of this salon? Give us service right now or else I'm leaving a bad review. A bad review? Do you know what happens to people who give bad reviews? Huh? The last man who gave me a bad review was my father. He went missing the next day. Would you like to join him? Uh, no thank you. Get out of my salon now and never come back! One hour later. I set up something earlier and it's gonna be awesome. Is it food? Because I don't know if I can eat anything else after that huge breakfast. Oh, you'll eat the food. What? <gasps> no, you stupid bear! Mackenzie, don't do that! He's a dangerous animal! Oh, uh, I'll hurt you! That was my best friend's picnic! Mackenzie, let's go! Come on! <laughs> Later. That was the scariest thing that has ever happened to me. We almost got killed by a bear. I knew this was going to happen. Now, hold on. I knew it was scary, but I do have some really fun stuff planned. I just don't want to die, Mackenzie, especially not on my birthday. It won't. Come on. It's going to be so much fun. Fine. One more chance. Right. One more chance. Come on. Let's go. A few moments later. See? Moments later. That was crazy. I'm just lucky I landed in that guy's hot tub. He was surprised, though. I bet. I've never fallen out of a helicopter before. That was terrifying. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, let's go. A few moments later. All right, quickly. Here I go. So, how is it? This is so cool. I can't believe they told you we could do this. Ah! Yeah, about that. This is the third call today. I've gotten about someone breaking in somewhere. One hour later. This is amazing. Where'd you get this from? Some idiot left in the parking lot behind the arcade. In the parking lot? You don't think that it belongs to someone? Of course not. Actually, now that I think about it. Mackenzie, you can't just steal things. Finders keepers, Sky. No one is left in the parking lot. This isn't good. Ah! A few moments later. Hello, ma'am. How are you today? I'm doing good, thanks. What can I do for you girls today? We'd like some money, please. All right. What's the name on your account? Oh, no, I don't have an account. I want the money from the bank safe. Oh. Oh, no. Please don't hurt me. I'll get your money for you. Uh, what's going on here? Oh. 
All right, everyone, stay cool. We'll give you girls whatever you want. Just don't hurt anyone. Hurt anyone? Mackenzie, what are they talking about? Oh, oh no, that's not good. Run! One hour later. I don't know what we need from this place, actually. Can we take this bomb? Why? Moments later. Later that same evening. I love horses so much. Me too. They're so cute. I agree. Let's go. Get off my horses, you fiends. Ride. Go, go, go. Get back here. That was crazy. I can't believe how many times we almost died today. Yeah, who could have seen this coming? I mean, it happens almost every year, so. I guess this year was different, though. You didn't break any bones. I guess that's true. Thanks, Kenzie. This has been a blast. birthday ever, so mission accomplished. <laughs> I've been in excruciating pain all day because of you guys. I didn't mean to give you food poisoning. Maybe I'm not as good at cooking as I thought I was. Yeah, that food wasn't very good. Come on, man. I mean, bear. It doesn't matter anymore. Now I'm going to eat you both. I won't enjoy it, but I'm going to do it anyway. <coughs> I'm out of here. I wanted for spray painting my name on the outside of the mayor's office. That's all. Hands in the air! Thank goodness you saved us. We almost got eaten by a bear who doesn't even eat humans. Put your hands in the air. Last warning. I think they're after us, McKenzie. I think you're right. Run! Hey, your leg isn't hurting anymore, Sky. Yeah, I guess it was just hurting a second ago, and now it's all better. Well, that's good and kind of convenient. You know that's right. Keep running! They're getting closer! Just keep running! Hey, he's got a gun! I'll show you what happens to fiends who steal my horses! Hey, put that gun down! Now you put your guns down! Sky, they're distracted! Let's get out of here! Wait, should we go back there and do the right thing? Like, turn ourselves in? That's a terrible idea, Sky. We're criminals now! We're gonna be on the run for the rest of our lives! Now let's go! Fine, that's too bad, though! One eternity later... Alright, that was crazy! We just saw day. We should go to my house now, probably. Wait, how do I look? Why does it matter? I don't want to look bad at the party. What if there's boys there? I can promise you that no boys will be there. But what if they sneak in? Again, no boys will be at this party. I promise. Whatever. Just let me know if I look good or not. You look fine. Is that fine in a good way or a bad way? A good way. Can we go, please? You sure it's a good way? Here, take another look. I'll spin for you. So, what do you think? One hour later. There you are, Sky. Here I am. We can begin the party. All right, let's go then. I'm here too. Moments later. This is so much fun. Quite the party, huh? Yes, Mr. Sky's uncle. It's really cool. Why aren't you having fun? I am having fun. Why are you having fun over here while everyone else is over there? I'm just really tired. You didn't get much sleep now, did you? No. Really? You should get more sleep then. Yeah, I'll try. Can you believe all of this? I can't believe it because I can see it. This is crazy. Yeah, it's really cool. What's up with you? Oh, nothing much, you know, just chilling. You're tired, aren't you? Nope, not tired. Are you sure? I'm sure. Wide awake. Well, that's good because... <sighs> 
Meanwhile, I can't believe this. We don't know how they keep getting away. They're slippery like fish. We'll find them one day. We won't let them get away with this. Sir, we've been workshopping some names for the two girls. What'd you come up with? I don't want to say. It's embarrassing. Tell me. I don't. All right, fine. I was thinking the Twisted 2. Twisted 2? That's good. That's really good. Thanks. I worked really hard on it. All right, let's catch these Twisted 2. Whatever it takes. Well, not whatever it takes, but we'll do a good amount of what it takes, I guess. A good amount of what it takes. Bingo. Birthday, birthday, birthday! I can't believe it's my birthday already. I am so excited. I wonder what presents I'll get. I hope I get an iPhone, an iPad, an iPod, an iComputer thingy, everything I. Wait, I forgot I have school today. Well, I'm sure my mom and dad will let me stay home. I mean, it is my birthday. <laughs> Moments later. You're not skipping school, Mackenzie. But it's my birthday. And it's also a school day. We can celebrate tonight after you get out. But mom... Mackenzie's dad, talk to your daughter. Mackenzie's mom, I am not involved in this. Please, dad, my birthday only happens once a year. So? So I shouldn't be forced to go to horrible school when the whole day is supposed to be about me. Everything's about you every day, Mackenzie. Sometimes it feels like you're the main character in a web series about Brookhaven. Oh, you don't have to go to school today, Mackenzie. Yes, thank you. Mackenzie's dad. What? I just got a call from the school and it caught on fire and burned to the ground. I am dreaming. This is all an absolute dream. What? How did that happen? Apparently all the teachers got together to have a bonfire in the cafeteria in the middle of the night. They didn't realize how dangerous fire is. Yup, that sounds like the teachers at my school. Fine, fine, you win. No school today. I'm sure it'll be all rebuilt by tomorrow. Not if I start another fire. Oh, uh, what was that, dear? Oh, uh, uh. I said, I wonder what it's like to sing in a church choir. Lame. I'm gonna go let everyone in town wish me a happy birthday. Let them? That's right. It's my birthday. It's the least they can do. Goodbye, Mackenzie. Merry Christmas. No, you mean happy birthday, Dad. Yeah, whatever. How old is she now? She's like 7 or 21 or something. I forgot. Moments later. It's my birthday. Good morning. Guess what? I will not guess what. It's my birthday. That's too bad. Today's the day in which you came into this miserable world. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. There is no need to be sorry on a glorious day like this one. We should be happy because it's my happy birthday. I've never been happy before. Well, today's the day to start trying. Happy birthday to me, Mr. Guthrie. Whatever. I don't want to go. Hello, Miss Below and little Timmy. Oh, Mackenzie, hi. Sorry, we're in a rush right now. Apology not accepted because you didn't need to say sorry in the first place. Today is a day void of sorries. You know why, don't you? Do you? Do you? I haven't the slightest clue, Mackenzie, but I really need to get... It's my birthday. That's right. I'm one year older now. That's insane. Well, happy birthday, Mackenzie. I really need to get little Timmy to his daycare. It is a happy birthday. Thank you. No one is listening to me and I'm upset. Because it's my birthday, little Timmy. Upset people must be ignored so we can focus on being happy. Happy? Yes, little Timmy. Happy. Happiness. Today is a happy day because it's my happy birthday. Birthday? It's my birthday? Happy birthday to me. No, it's my birthday. Don't be silly. Oh. All right. Bye-bye. Man, this has already been the best birthday ever. I hope it only gets better from here. I hope I get my dream birthday party. Wow, this cake is amazing. Eat it quickly, Mackenzie. We have 12 more cakes for you. Wow, this is great. I heard there's a birthday girl around here who wants to meet me. Everyone, get out of his way. He's talking to me. Clown, right here. All right, Mackenzie. Happy birthday. Are you happy, Mackenzie? Yes, I am so happy. This is truly a happy birthday. Woof, woof. You could say that again, Mackenzie. Wow, Tails the talking dog. Happy birthday, Mackenzie. Yes. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Hey, Mackenzie, oh, you're asleep? I won't bother you. Guys, Sky, hello, you know what day it is today, right? Your birthday? My birthday, it's my birthday. Well, happy birthday. I was thinking we could hang out today. Celebrate your birthday. That sounds awesome. We can go to my house and... No, not your house. I mean, let's go to the arcade for now. My treat. Uh, all right. Sure. Hmm. A few moments later. Die, gross monster, diggy, die! Dad, yeah, die! Pew, pew, pew! Well, that was some good shooting, Sky. Why don't we go back to my place now and hang out there? No, 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 that's a terrible idea. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Uh, because your house is flooded. What? No, no, it didn't flood. Haha, <laughs> funny joke, yeah? So, why do you not want to go to my house? Uh, I'm just having so much fun at the arcade. Is that 
so. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's just so much fun. Hmm, interesting. What's interesting? Nothing's interesting, I swear. I just want to stay here forever. I can see right through your lies, Sky. No lies here, ma'am, none at all. Hey, guys. Josh, Josh, guess what day it is today. Do it. Uh, it's Friday, right? It's so much more than just that, Josh. It's so, so much more. Well, it's your birthday, too. I know that. Yes, you passed the test. Oh, uh, what test? Oh, I don't know. Uh, don't make things awkward on my birthday. I'm allowed to be awkward, but not you. Right, yeah, that's my bad. I saw the thing that they were building in your backyard earlier. It looked awesome. Excited to get on it tonight. Tonight? Yeah, at the... No, stop! Oh, cool. All right, uh, bye. What was that all about then, Sky? Uh, I was quoting a movie where the person says, no, stop! Character. When they go to do something, it's a good movie. You should watch it. Interesting. Stop that. Very, very interesting. I can't take this for much longer. Moments later. So, are you finally ready to start telling the truth? I've been telling the truth this entire time. I haven't told you a single lie. Lie? You're a liar. A big, fat liar. I'm not big. I'm not fat. And I'm most definitely not a liar. No, I didn't mean it that way. Well, I'm so sorry, Sky. It's okay. Thank you. Now, tell me the truth, you monster. Stop harassing me. Fine, fine. I'll stop. Thank you. Now, I'm gonna go grab something from outside. What is it? Okay, you need to calm down. I think you're getting all riled up because it's your birthday. Rightfully so. Here we go. She's gonna come back with a big cake and a huge Ferris wheel and One Direction. This is the moment. The one where I finally get to have my dream birthday party. How am I gonna react? Maybe I'll say something like, wow, what a surprise. Or maybe I'll scream. Ugh, just be natural. Why don't we? Yeah, that's what we need to do. Be natural. Ah! Wait a second. Why do you scream? Oh my goodness, I knew it. My hair looks awful, doesn't it? No, I just thought that. Never mind. I just got gum. Do you want a piece? I mean, what kind? Cool, mint. Ugh, go throw that garbage away. Moments later. 23, 24, 25, 26. I have 26 cousins. Fascinating. Let's go to my house. Can you please just calm down? It's your birthday and you want to go to your house for no reason at all. I'd rather spend it at my house than walking around in circles for hours, Sky. We walked in a circle twice. That's it. We need to go a few more laps. Well, walking is the worst, Sky. That's why God invented cars and wheelchairs and teleportation devices. All right, fine. We can go to the beauty salon. Ooh, I do like beauty. Let's go to the beauty salon. I'll pay and get us full makeovers. How do you have enough money to buy that? And the arcade stuff and the ice cream and the flying car. Uh, it grew on a tree? One hour later. I don't know why, but this feels a lot worse than I thought it would. Yes, it's very uncomfortable. After this, we should, like, go to my house. Can I tell you something? Sure, I gotta find something to distract me from whatever is going on in my hair right now. Do you remember my surprise party last year when I turned whatever age I am right now? I forget. Yeah, of course. That's when I drank way too much punch and threw up all over the Shawn Mendes impersonator. That wasn't an impersonator. That was Shawn Mendes. What? Do you remember how big it was and how there was a Ferris wheel and a magician and all that jazz? I mean, of course. It was awesome. Right. Do you remember yeah, we kept on making fun of you for hanging out with your family the entire night. Exactly. I was just happy to be celebrating with my family. The Ferris wheel was cool and whatever, but the real thrill was sitting next to my parents and just feeling so blessed that I was so loved. I just thought that I would bring that up for certain reasons. So, uh, what do you want to do now? I don't know. I feel like if I say I want to go home, you'll think I didn't get the message of your story, which isn't true. But I would like to be with the people I love right now, celebrating my birthday. All right, then. Let's go to your house. All right. Thank you, Sky. Don't mention it. This conversation was just my way of tying a nice pretty bow around this beautiful gift of a day. Hey, we weren't done. Moments later. All right. Are you ready? What are you talking about? I'm just going to walk into my house. <laughs> That's right. Happy birthday, Mackenzie. Thank you, Sky. Oh, uh, well, uh, we should go upstairs. Oh, I don't know about that. Maybe we should just go run around in the backyard. Oh, uh, I'm just really tired. I don't think I have the energy to run around outside right now. Trust me, Mackenzie. You have the energy. What do you mean? Just trust me. Go to the backyard. Surprise! Oh, you guys. I know it isn't your dream party, but... It's perfect. It's actually more than perfect. It's a happy birthday. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. Happy birthday, Mackenzie. Are you surprised? 
surprise? The most surprised I've ever been in my life. I told you she had no clue. I'm sorry. I get super paranoid about surprise parties. It runs in the family. I remember when my dad first tried to throw me a surprise party, but he ended up throwing up 45 times due to being scared, so they called it off. I know you always wanted a huge surprise party, but this is the best we... I love it, Mom. I'm just so happy that I get to celebrate it with the people I love. Oh, when did you become so mature? I'm growing up now, Dad. I'm one year older today. Aren't you still a child? Honestly, I don't know. Mackenzie, happy birthday! Happy birthday, whatever. Happy birthday! Ashley and Ayla both agreed to be nice to you today on your birthday. That starts tomorrow, though. I'm glad you guys are here. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having us. Yeah, of course. Ayla, why did you have to say that? That was too nice. Happy birthday, my dear. Thanks. This is for you. I want to tell you what it is so bad, though. You can tell me if you want. It's a gun. Sorry, I couldn't keep it a secret any longer. A gun? Like a thing that shoots bullets? The streets are dangerous, kid. You got to keep yourself safe. Right. Thanks. Aye, aye, Mackenzie. Hey, Jim and Brock the bad guy. Mackenzie, happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. They let you guys out of prison? No, they let us come to your birthday. We have to go back after. We got you a present. Thanks. Wait, did you guys steal this from someone? Because I can't take this if this is someone else's stuff that you stole. Uh, oh, well, we definitely didn't steal it. Nope, we bought it with our own money. I feel like you guys are hiding something from me. <laughs> we would never. Yeah, never. All right. Cool. Yeah, that was a close one, bro. Wow, I am the luckiest girl in all of Brookhaven. Happy birthday to you. Well, aren't you going to blow the candles out and make a wish? Wait, I need to say something. Oh, huh? what do you mean? I just want to say how blessed I am to know all of you. Each and every one of you has changed my life for the better. Without you guys, without Brookhaven, I would never be as happy as I am right now. You have all made my life one thousand times better. I love you all dearly. I love you, Brookhaven. We love you, Mackenzie. Come on, make a wish. Blow the candles. I already have my wish. Don't you see? I'm living my wish. But that's all right. I'll make another wish. <gasps> so excited to see your new car, Principal Chalmers. I know how much you've been looking forward to it. I truly have been. And there she is. Isn't she beautiful? I've never spent this much money on a vehicle, but I've also never even been happier. It's a wonderful car, but isn't this kind of car supposed to come with one of those fancy hood ornaments? It does come with one. See, it's right over... Oh my gosh! No! Some student must have swiped it while I wasn't looking! I must investigate this at once! Excuse me, I'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, I'm so angry! Sir Jeffrey Locker of every single student of the building and start with Ryan! He's a troublemaker! A few moments later. What can I say, Mr. Principal Man, sir? It was a cool ornament. Ryan, this is completely unacceptable. You young men have detention! Whatever, I like already have detention today. You ever wonder what it would be like to date a rebel? Like someone like Ryan who always gets in trouble? No! Don't you think it would be kind of cool to date someone? Someone who doesn't follow the rules? No. Ugh, Sky, you're no fun. So I like someone loyal that has an upstanding moral code. Sue me. I don't know. I think being rebellious can be kind of cool. Being able to stand up to authority and not live by someone else's rules. Like Ryan, for example. Don't you think it's kind of cool that he's not afraid of the principal? I don't know. I guess I've just always been kind of curious about him. Oh, boy. This probably won't end well. Anyways, we better get to band class. Oh, shoot. You're right. We're almost going to be late. Moments later. I wonder what he's thinking about right now. Mackenzie, please at least try and focus. Come on. All right, let's take it from the top and let's really give it our all this time, okay? I want to hear some pizzazz. A one, two, three, go. You think he even knows I'm alive? Hello, Mackenzie. The piece starts with your solo. Young lady, I'm giving you detention. You need to learn to pay attention better in class and not just daydream all the time. Huh? You have detention. Later that same evening. Oh, hey, Ryan. I didn't know you also had detention. I mean, I like live here. They should probably start charging me rent. I wouldn't pay it, though, because they can't tell me what to do. That is so cool. Quiet! No talking in detention! So cranky. <laughs> hey, want to get out of here? Well, yeah, but how? The teacher would never let us get out of here. Don't worry. I have my way. Oh, you do? This music is like a tranquilizer to anyone above the age of 25. Watch. <laughs> Oh, I feel all fuzzy inside now. Maybe it's time to take a nap. Yes, nap time. Nighty night, cuties. Come on, now's our chance. Let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> 
A few moments later. Wow, this is amazing. I can't believe we're supposed to be in detention right now. Right? Feels pretty good to break the rules sometimes, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess so, but I never would have done this alone. This is all your fault. Well, seems like that's a good thing. It is, honestly. I'm having a blast. Honestly, me too. You know, I've always wondered what it would be like to hang out with you. And it really is exceeding my expectations. Well, maybe you should have some higher expectations. <laughs> Fair. Should we play again? Definitely, but this time, let me win. I need the ego boost. Yeah, right. No, you don't. <laughs> You're right. I don't. Besides, I let you win last time. Oh, really? I somehow don't believe that. Watch. You'll see. I'm gonna destroy you this time. No way. You're going down. You wish. Oh, hey, Mackenzie. Josh, what are you doing here? What are you doing with this loser? What did you just call me? Who needs to steal a hood ornament? That's just lame. Call me a name one more time. I'm Josh, I dare you. Loser! Ah! <laughs> Come on, Mackenzie, let's go. Uh, okay. Moments later. Sorry you had to see that. Let me walk you home. Okay. Do you have any special plans this weekend? Not really. Why? It's my birthday, and I was thinking of throwing a party. A birthday party? I love birthday parties. They're like my favorite thing. Great, so I can count you in. A hundred percent. Awesome. All right, I'm going to take off now. I should probably get home and eat something. A few moments later. Guy, we had so much fun hanging out. It was totally magical. Well, that's great. I'm glad you had such a good time. Maybe he's not as much of a bad guy as I thought he was. I don't know. I just always figured hanging out with Ryan meant that someone was going to get trouble or hurt or something. Trouble just seems to follow him around. Well, something weird did happen, but I don't think it was entirely Ryan's fault. What happened? He punched Josh in the face. Hey, what? But hear me out. Josh was being, like, super rude to him. Are you even hearing yourself right now? Since when do you think arguments should be settled through violence? I thought you were against violence. Well, I am. I don't like it when people get hurt. But at the same time, Josh shouldn't have said those things to Ryan. He should have hurt him. It was totally out of nowhere. Well, maybe Josh was jealous because Ryan was hanging out with you. You think? I don't know. I just think that maybe if I spend more time with Ryan, he'll want to become a better guy. And he can learn how to behave. He has a sweet side. He just usually doesn't show it to people. That's why it felt so special to hang out with him. But I just know if that sweet side is in him, that he can learn to be sweeter all the time. Well, this is your project. Have fun with it. Guy. What? Forgive me for thinking when someone is a dirtbag, they're always a dirtbag. That's just been my life experience. Well, that's fair. But I still think I can change him. Well, then. Yeah, I guess we will. And I think I know exactly where to start. Moments later. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? What kind of clothing do you have that would suit a really straight edge guy? Like someone who always follows the rules. You're trying to change your boyfriend, aren't you? I've seen it a million times. I'm just trying to help him find the right path for himself. Sure, sure, that's what they all say. Anyways, I think this blazer would be perfect. All right, I'll take it. Thank you. Later that night. Mackenzie, I've realized that I'm falling madly and completely in love with you. And loving you is making me want to be a better person. I just want to be the kind of guy you can be proud to take home and introduce to your parents. The kind of guy who never does anything bad again because he never wants to disappoint you. Oh, Ryan, I love you too. Oh, I guess it was just a dream. The next morning. I'll be there at the party, Ryan, and I am going to look great. To the salon. Meanwhile. Come on, bro. We got to hit the principal back. He disrespected you. That's why I say tonight we slip into his place and vandalize it. Seal his stuff. I can't tonight, bro. It's my birthday party. I even invited that girl, Mackenzie. I think I really like her, bro. Bro, do you even have any self-respect? You're giving up the chance to get someone back who disrespected you and you're giving that up for a girl? Dude, this totally isn't your style. You gotta stay true to yourself, bro. Otherwise, who even are you? I don't know, my guy. I don't see why we can't just do it tomorrow night or something because tonight's the night i'm telling you unless you want to bow down to the man and like not think for yourself or whatever i guess you just don't want to hurt the principal's feelings is that what you're scared of all right fine let's do it i guess you guess or you're in i'm in a few moments later all right we got the stuff and trash the place now let's boogie you want to dance right now oh like let's get out of here hang on i just want one more thing dude come on he's coming 
back any second now. Yeah, but I want a snack from the kitchen. You made me miss my dinner for this, and I think I saw a Pop-Tart in there. Dude, bro, this is a bad idea. I'm telling you. What are you telling me? Oh, is it perhaps something about how you're breaking and entering into my house? Bro, let's run! Oh, you could try and run, boys, but you won't get far. The police are on their way. Bro, we did it. I think we got away. Please, you're under arrest. Meanwhile... Uptight. Should have told the hairdresser to make it more rebellious, more punk rock. Oh, Ryan, Ryan, what are you thinking right now? Mackenzie! Ryan, what are you doing here? I was about to start heading to your birthday party. Look, do you mind if I just hide out here for a little bit? The party's canceled. The police are after me. The police? What happened? Well, we broke into the principal's house, me and Greg. What? Why? Because he disrespected me and I need to get him back. How did he disrespect you? Weren't you the one who stole the ornament from his car? Yeah, but you know what? Ugh, you just don't get it, okay? There's a code on the streets for tough guys like me. You just wouldn't understand. You know what? You're right. We're just very different people, you and I. Ryan, I don't think we should hang out anymore. It's been really fun, and I think deep, deep down, you're a great guy. But we're just too different from each other. Here, I got you this for your birthday. Happy birthday, Ryan. Okay, well, smell you later, Kenzie. I guess we'll go find somewhere else to hide. I think that'll be the best. Take care of yourself, Ryan. Sweetie, are you ready to go to the party? Your father said he can give you a lift right now if you'd like. No, Mom. You know what? The party's actually canceled. I guess now I'm all dressed up with nowhere to go. Well, we can fix that, can't we? How about we invite Sky and go see a movie and get some ice cream? That sounds like a great idea, Mom. I'll give her a call. Sky's phone? Sky speaking on the skyline? Sky, I'm ditching the party. Well, actually, it's not really happening anymore. And I kind of called things off with Ryan. We're just too different from each other. Well, I don't want to say I told you so, so I'll just say I was right. Wow, thanks, Sky. You're always so on it. Anyways, want to come see a movie and get some ice cream with me and my mom? Why even ask the question when you know the answer? Duh, I'd love to. Okay, we're on our way now. Later that same evening. Wow, that movie was kind of sad. Really? I thought it was hilarious. And all that stuff with the frisbee? Yeah, but the main boy, he just couldn't get himself to change. And he ended up getting into so much trouble. You know, sweetie, some people just take longer to grow and change. Because it's harder for them. They need to take their time. Anyways, it was just a movie. Right. Okay, Mom, I believe there was a mention of ice cream earlier in the evening. Yes, all right, girls. Let's go get some ice cream. What kind are you going to get? Bubblegum! I think I want chocolate this time. It's a classic. Ooh, yes, I'll take some chocolate, too, with the bubblegum and maybe some vanilla. Two flavors tops, okay? I don't want you up all night. Okay, fine. Good morning, honey. Can I make you something to eat? No, thanks, Mom. I gotta get to school. Okay, you seem awfully cheerful this morning, especially for a school day. Well, that's probably just because my birthday's in a few days. Yes, that's right. And what does the soon-to-be sweet 16-year-old feel like doing? You know, it's not that far off, honey. We really need to get around to making some plans. Oh, I know, Mom, but it's really not that big of a deal. What are you talking about? It's your sweet 16. It's a huge deal. After this, you really only have 18, 21, and then, well, the date on your tombstone. Whoa, Mom, are you okay? That seems exceptionally dark. Hey, I'm just saying, you only turned 16 once. You should do whatever you want. I appreciate it, Mom, but I don't really want to do anything that big. Thanks anyways. What's going on, honey? How can you not want to do something for your sweet 16? It's the birthday every girl dreams of to the point where they have their own aisle at the party store. I know, it's just, well, sweet 16s are kind of different these days. Some people at my school go all out, and it becomes this weird twisted competition on who can do it better. They have custom t-shirts, caterers, three-tiered cakes at venues. It's kind of getting insane. So, uh, we can do all that. Wait, really? Yeah, whatever you want to do. You want to have a three-tiered cake and custom t-shirts at a fancy venue? It is fine by me. Oh my gosh, well, thank you, Mom. I can't believe this. Wow, I never thought I'd be getting one of these sweet 16 parties. I've got to go invite everyone at school. Thanks. I love you, Mom. Bye. Moments later. Uh, nice walking with you, girly. Thanks. Nice walking with you, too. Um, hello, Aunt Kenzie. I totally did not mean that. What is so interesting on that phone that you can't look up from it for like a second? Sorry, sorry. You know how my birthday's coming up, right? Yes, and I already told you I'm not going to get you a gift based on a registry. I know that, but this morning my mom told me that I can do whatever I want for my sweet 16. So I've been looking at venues and party themes. Ooh, party themes? Spill, you know I always have wanted to go to a surprise party. How exactly does one throw a surprise party for the guests? Uh, I don't know. 
Wow. Anyways, what would you think about having a party at the beach? At the beach? How much money do you guys have? Hey, my mom said anything that I want. And I don't want to have something lame at my house where my mom's popping her head in every few seconds. This needs to be, like, huge. I cannot imagine the look on Ashley's face when she realizes that you are going to get the sweet 16 of your dreams. It's all anyone at school will be talking about. Exactly. So we have to do it up. Everyone has parties at their house or fancy restaurants in Barry Avenue. But it's up to me to really break the mold and do something amazing. That reminds me, are birthday parties at the ice cream shop a thing? Forget ice cream, girly. Think about it. Ashley hasn't had her sweet 16 yet. So this is your chance to plan something she'll never forget. Oh gosh, no pressure there. All I know for sure, Sky, is that next weekend is gonna be unforgettable. Meanwhile, invitations to the coolest sweet 16 party ever next Saturday. Hey, can I interest you in the coolest sweet 16 party of the year next Saturday? Yeah, great, thanks. Hey, uh, can I have a... Yeah, sure, everyone is invited. Tell your friends. It's gonna be the best sweet 16 of the year. Come one, come all. Would you like to be invited to the coolest? Oh, it's you. What are you doing, girly? You look like you're campaigning for the next presidential election. I think someone is just bitter because they didn't get their invitation yet. Yeah, my invite is kind of grandfathered in, but you standing out in the hallway handing out invitations does reek a little bit of desperation, so I'm gonna escort you into the class. But, but I haven't given them all out yet. Yeah, that's too bad. You're coming with me, girly. A few moments later. Wow, I can't believe you killed my invitation ring. Listen, it's the 21st century. Just send out a group text like a normal person. Well, I don't have everyone's number that I want to invite. If I want to make it the best sweet 16 of the year, I'm going to have to go all out. Okay, do a breakdown with me. What do we have so far? Hmm, I think we've decided on an Airbnb with a pool, so all we need to do now is secure a theme, pick a cake, and order gift bags, streamers, and of course the perfect bathing suit. Are you kidding? That's all? That's like a million and one things. Relax, girly. We have it all set. What could possibly go wrong? I I would just like to invite you all to the most outrageous sweet 16 party next Saturday. Except maybe that. It's Ashley's sweet 16, by the way. It's all about Ashley. Well, yeah, duh, Ayla. Anyone with eyes can see that. Anyways, it's gonna be the party to be at. It's my sweet 16 after all, so I'm sure you losers can't imagine anything else. It's gonna be on a yacht and black tie attire, obviously. On a yacht? Really, Ashley? Wow, that is so cool. You know it, my daddy is sparing no expenses for my party. It is gonna be an event that will be talked about for years to come. Wait, and the party is next Saturday? I'm sorry, are you deaf? Yes, it's next Saturday. Oh, I can see your confusion though, so let me set it straight for you. No, you're not invited. I hope that clears things up for you. What is going on here? Why are you standing up near my board? Ashley is throwing a sweet 16 party on a boat. Can we get let off class early to go pick out bathing suits for it? Please, please, please. No, no, come on, Ashley. You know you aren't allowed to hand out birthday invitations on school grounds. I'm sorry, Mr. Teacher Man, sir. If it makes it any better, I think I can get you an invite. Oh, boy! One hour later. Cheer up, girly. It's gonna be okay. How can you say that? No, it's not, Sky. I can't believe it. I didn't even want to have this dumb party in the first place because I thought it was gonna be lame. And now that I do want to have one and my mom said I could do whatever I wanted, Ashley has to ruin it by throwing a better party on the same day. Yeah! But you handed out the invitations first, so maybe people will still come to yours. Yeah, right. Who's gonna come to my party when you can go to Ashley's on a yacht? Face it, I'm doomed. No, you're not. We can always, uh, I got it. We can always let those loose snakes under the yacht so our party is a giant failure. I appreciate the effort, Sky, But I think I'm just succumbed to the idea that I'm never gonna have the sweet 16 party that I always wanted. No, don't think like that. What if you ask Ashley to move her party to a different day? Are you nuts? Hey! It's worth a shot. Meanwhile. Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Oh, great. Loser alert. Look, I don't care if you beg. You are not getting an invitation to my yacht party. Hey, I'm so surprised. No, it's not about that. Listen, I don't know if you knew this, but I actually had my birthday party planned next Saturday. Oh, no. I knew it. Oh, and you scheduled yours at the exact time by accident? Sure. Let's say that. Anyways, this sweet 16 party is really, really important to me. And I was wondering that maybe you could find it in your heart. If you even have one. Sky, what I was saying was that maybe I was wondering if you could switch your party to a different day. You know, considering that I had mine planned first. 
Dad, oh my God, are you serious? You want me to move my sweet 16 party to help you? Ideally, yes. Yeah, no, I am so not going to do that. And besides, even if I did want to help you after going to my party, nobody's going to want to go to your lame sweet 16. <laughs> Come on, Ayla, let's go. Wait, does that mean we're not invited to her party? Just keep walking, Ayla. I'm really sorry, girly. So that's it then. I guess I'm not having a sweet 16. Later that same evening. Oh! So did you start brainstorming ideas for your party yet? Now what's coming up? Oh, and don't forget to give me the list of everyone you want to come. It doesn't matter. No one's coming. What do you mean? Of course people are going to come, honey. Don't worry. No, they're not, Mom. You don't understand. Ashley is throwing her party on the same day as me, and she has a yacht. Like, how am I supposed to compete with that? Well, it shouldn't be a competition. Your real friends will come to your sweet 16. Over going on a yacht? Yeah, I don't think you're that familiar with how high school works. And besides, even if I had my party a different day. All everyone is going to be talking about is her party. This is why I didn't even want to have a dumb party in the first place. Look, I'm really sorry this happened with Ashley, but you can't let her take away from your birthday. This is your sweet 16. If you don't want to have a big party, that's fine. But you shouldn't let Ashley be a deciding factor. Hell, then what should we even do? I don't know. Just because you don't want to throw a huge sweet 16 doesn't mean you can't still have a little party for those people who don't go to Ashley's. Invite some people over. We can get some cake and ice cream. Come on, it'll be fun. I guess. I mean, I'm sure not everyone is going to her party. Several days later. Wow, Ashley, I cannot believe everyone from school is at your party. Well, duh, what do you think? They're gonna go to that loser's lane fest? Wow, there's really something called lane fest? Oh my god, Ayla, don't make me kick you off this yacht. Happy birthday, Ashley. Thanks for inviting me. Oh, of course, and thank you for the present. Make sure you have the gift receipt attached for the convenience in case I don't like it or whatever it is. Now, come on, everyone. Come up to the top deck and let's party. This is the coolest party ever, Ashley. Um, heck yeah. Like, I would ever throw a party that wasn't. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's really so cool. But she would maybe go over and enjoy Mackenzie's party, too. I don't want her to feel left out. Ew, why would you want to go over and celebrate that loser? Her sweet 16 probably bombed anyway. Yeah. Why would you want to go over to her house when this party? about it. Look at it, Sky. No one showed up. This is like the worst sweet 16 in the history of the world. And I didn't even get to rent the Airbnb with the pool. I mean, maybe that's a good thing. Look at it. It is raining pretty hard out there. This blows. Hey, hey, I know this isn't what you wanted for your sweet 16, but look, two people who love you most in this world are here to celebrate you. We're here for you, and we want to be here. Isn't that enough? Yeah, girly. Who cares, Ashley, is throwing some dumb yacht party. You've got Thanks, guys. I guess I do. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, uh, hey, what are you doing here? Ashley's party got rained out. Also, it wasn't the best. She's kind of a bully. Do you mind if I come and join yours? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Come on in. Great, thanks. Hey, Mackenzie, is it too late to come to your party? No, no, not at all. Come on in. There's plenty of cake. Great, because there's a whole bunch of kids down the block headed over here right now. All righty, everyone, gather around the table. We're all going to sing to this is bad. This is really, really bad. And I don't know if I'm going to make it. And it's all because the new girl invited me to her birthday. Oh, right. I should probably be quiet, shouldn't I? Yeah, well, I'm in a little bit of a pickle because of the new girl. <coughs> what happened to goodie bags and ice cream cake at birthday parties? If this is the future, then I don't want it. Sky, what are you doing? You've been on your phone all morning. Just scrolling my life away on TikTok. Jeez, Sky, it's starting to sound like you've got a TikTok addiction. My goodness. Guys, guys, guess what? Uh, not again, Josh. Chicken butt? No. Monkey butt? No. Your butt, Mackenzie's butt, my butt. What? Who said something about my butt? Is there something wrong with my butt? No. Remember, Josh told us to guess what? Oh, right, right. Well, neither of those answers were right. Wait, if it's not chicken butt or monkey butt, then is it bumblebee butt? It has nothing to do with butts. Wow, that's a first. Then what is it? This is taking way too long. Josh, just spit it out. Okay, okay. Well, there's this new girl at school. Who? Oh, maybe we can have a new friend in the group. Mackenzie, two's company, three's a crowd. Oh, my 
my gosh, if you guys would just let me finish, I'd tell you that her name is Rose. And she's throwing a birthday party tonight. Wait, really? Who told you this? Rose did. Would you look at that? The Loser Brigade just got invited to a party. Hey, she just told you the Loser Brigade. What's she gonna do now? Who knows? Maybe she's super nice and amazing and the party's lots of fun. And then we make a friendship that lasts a lifetime. And then she gives out super amazing goodie bags and lots of yummy cake at cake time. Mmm, I love when they serve cake at birthday parties. Now, I am definitely not going to it. I mean, not that I was gonna go in the first place because it's probably gonna be super lame and anyone that would freely decide to go would be a loser. Therefore, being a party that only losers would go to. Okay, Mom, I'll make sure to invite as many people as possible. You better. I'm counting on you because if we don't get enough people there, it might not work. Rose, Rose, over here. Okay, I gotta go, Mom. Hi there, you must be. I'm Mackenzie, and this is Sky. We're best friends. I'm throwing a birthday party tonight if you guys want to come. Maybe. Yeah, we'll be there, all three of us. Hey, Rose, did you miss me? What? I was just joking, because, you know, we saw each other, like, ten minutes ago. Uh, I don't remember, but okay, moving on. Anyways, come over around five. There will be lots of snacks, cake, and goodie bags. There's even going to be a dance-off. Can't wait to see you all there. woo Party time, baby! Come on, Sky, don't just stand there. Uh... Okay, fine, we'll save it for later. Awesome dances, Mackenzie. Can't wait to see them later. Oh my gosh, isn't she the bestest? She is so dreamy. We totally have something going on between us. There's like a vibe. There's like this thing, you know? We can both feel it. Jeez, Josh, relax. Yeah, Josh, you need to chill. She didn't even know who you were. Yeah, she did. Rose, wait up. Are you kidding me? Why? She doesn't even notice him like I do. Silly boys, that's why. Oh, hey, Rose. What are you doing back here so soon? Well, two things. First, you guys have to come to my party. No one else is coming, and I don't want to be a loser. Oh my gosh, you're not a loser. We're coming no matter what. I mean, yeah, I guess. No one coming to your party would probably make you one. But that's not going to be the case, because we're going to be there. So, what's the second thing? What? Numero dos? You know the second thing you came over here for? Oh, right, right. Well, uh, who's that guy that was just here with us? He's been following me around, and it's starting to really creep me out. Oh, that's just Josh. He wouldn't hurt a fly. We'll talk to him about that, though. Don't worry. We'll make sure he stops being weird. Oh, thanks so much. Rose, there you are. Uh-oh, here we go again. Hey, wait up. A few moments later. Isn't that weird they've known each other the entire time? Yeah, I cannot believe that they were playing a prank on us. And Josh is the reason that she moved here? How come he never told us about her? That's because they met yesterday. Oh, right, right. Do we have to go? Yes, it's gonna be so much fun, I promise. And we're already here, so what's the worst thing that could happen? I don't know, uh, she turned out to be a killer and we all died, duh! Come on, girly, that is crazy talk. Since when would anything like that happen? A kid, a kid killer? That doesn't even make sense, girly. Okay, fine, I guess you're right. Let's just go inside. How do you win again? This is so unfair, you're cheating! No, I'm just way better than you, <laughs> loser! No way! That's the falsest thing I've ever heard! Hey! You guys made it! We wouldn't have missed it for the world! Party time! Where is everyone else? Or is this it? I guess they must already be hiding! <laughs> oh, where are they hiding? Wait, I thought I was the first one here. What do you mean? Oh, so we're playing hide and seek. What do you mean by they're already hiding? Why wouldn't you wait for everyone? Yeah, that seems unfair. If I tell you why, you guys can't tell anyone. Okay, we promise, right guys? you told me everything. Why are you leaving me out of secrets now? I can't tell you all my secrets now, can I, silly? Okay, just tell me already. You're killing me. Okay, okay. So everyone's hiding already because they came early and I already told them what's gonna happen to them if they don't hide and hide good. Uh, what's 
what's gonna happen? Well, they're all hiding because they don't want to die, obviously. See, the thing is, no one's making it out of here alive. Uh. So, uh, like, is this the Hunger Games or something? I knew something was off about you. See, I told you, Kenzie. Ah, we're gonna die. I'm too young to die. I haven't even had my first kiss yet. Relax, guys. I'm just kidding. Sorry. I just have a weird sense of humor. Cool, you don't say. Jeez, girly, you really had me worried there for a second. Really? We're calling other people girly now? I thought that was our thing. Sorry for the worry. Everyone's gonna be showing up shortly. Well, that's a relief. Big time. So, what's the plan for tonight? It's a surprise. <laughs> I mean, hee <laughs> Sky, what's wrong? Why was she laughing like that? Uh, why do you keep saying weird things? It's very off-putting. I'm sorry. I don't want to scare you. I just like to joke around. Well, you're doing a good job at it. I guess it's just my special skill, but okay, I promise no more scary talk. Okay, good, because you are way too scary with it. Can't ever tell if you're joking or not. Noted. Are we going to play any games? This is getting boring. Yes, we just got to wait a few more minutes. Until everyone shows up. Wait, I thought they were hiding in the house. Oh my gosh, Josh, where have you been for the last five minutes? Uh, right here? That was a rhetorical question. Ugh, never mind. This guy says you're not supposed to answer rhetorical questions, whatever that means. Uh, you two can just be ridiculous sometimes. Can we just play some games already? Just a few more minutes. Everyone will be here, I promise. Yeah, what's the rush, girly? Uh, fine. Moments later. <laughs> I'm sure everyone will be here super soon now. We'll just give it a few more minutes. A few moments later. So I just checked my phone and no one else is showing up. We'll have to make do with what we have, Rose. Are you sure? Did you double check? Yes, I triple checked just to make sure. You assured me there would be more people coming. I thought there would be. Don't worry, Mrs. Rose's mom, ma'am. We've got all the people we need right here. Well, I just don't think there's enough of you. Why is your mom upset? She wants there to be more people. She puts so much pressure on me to have a big party. I just thought there would be too many people to take care of, but she insisted. <laughs> I am such a loser. No one likes me. I couldn't even get more than three people to come to my birthday party. Hey, you're not a loser. No one here is. We're the cool kids. I just want to fit in and not be alone like at my last school. Don't worry about them. The mean kids are the real losers. You can be friends with us. Really? Oh, heck yeah. Who cares about those other kids? You're not a loser. Yeah, none of us are losers. Yeah, whatever McKenzie just said. Where have you been? You've been gone for like forever, Josh. Well, I've been looking around for all the people hiding, duh. <laughs> Why are you so silly, Josh? Oh my goodness, I give up with you, Josh. Uh, okay, whatever that's supposed to mean. Let's start doing some birthday activities. I mean, it is your birthday after all. Now. Oh, I know one. So help me if you say find all the people that are hiding. No, silly. Come on, Sky. You're supposed to be the brains. We should play Truth or Dare downstairs by the pool. Ooh, I love Truth or Dare. It's always fun daring people to do funny things. Uh, I don't know if I'm up for that. Come on, it's my birthday. Sky, back me up here. I'm down to play. Come on, Kenzie. Don't be lame. It'll be lots of fun. Okay, fine, but I'm a little nervous. Don't be. It's just truth or dare, silly. Moments later. So, who gets to go first? I'll do the honors. Who says you get to go first? I do. Well, that's not how it works. Okay, fine. You go first then. Okay, Rose, truth or dare? Uh, truth. What's the worst thing you've ever done? Um, kill a whole bunch of people, then blame it on someone else. I thought you weren't supposed to lie and only tell the truth. Yeah, you can't cheat, silly. Okay, fine, I'm just kidding. The worst thing I've ever done is lie to my mom about where I was. Oh my gosh, you did that? Where were you? I was out with a boy. Did she ever find out? Hey, hey, that's enough questions for now. Mackenzie, truth or dare? Uh, truth. What are you scared of? I'm really scared of clowns. Noted. <laughs> what? No, please no, never scare me with a clown outfit. Okay, I won't. <laughs> no, Rose, you have to promise. Fine, I promise. Josh, truth or dare? What do you take me for? Dare, obviously. I'm not scared of a little challenge. Fine, dare it is. Hmm, what should I pick? 
Oh, I got it. I dare you to jump in the pool with all of your clothes on. Psh, that is so easy. Cannonball! Ah, it's freezing cold! <laughs> Why on earth is it so cold? It's a swimming pool, dummy. How does it feel to be all wet? I didn't bring a change of clothes either. This is brutal. <laughs> Oh, yeah? You think that's funny, Sky? Okay, truth or dare? Truth! Darn it! Nice try! What's the most embarrassing story about you? Ugh, do I have to? If you chicken out, then you definitely have to jump in the pool. Jump, jump, jump! Jump, jump, jump! You might have to just answer it, girly. Okay, fine, I'll answer. So, uh, when I was a toddler, I would run around sniffing to see who farted. Ew! Oh my gosh, Sky, you have never told me that before. Oh my gosh, I am so glad you picked truth. I mean, that is pretty embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, laugh all you want. Pick me, pick me next. Okay, Rose, truth or dare? Dare, I dare you to go in the pool. Uh, fine. Hey, that doesn't count. You never said I had to jump in. You just said go in, so I put my feet in. I mean, she does have a point. Got you there. Looks like you got outsmarted, or should I say, outworded. Whatever, Josh. Okay, I pick Sky. Truth or dare? Hey, I thought there was no give backs. Oh, uh, it doesn't say anything about that in the rule book. What rule book? I'm just kidding. There's no rule book. Oh. Fine, I'll go. Truth then. What's the scariest and worst way to die? Uh, I never thought about it. I'm not sure. Okay, but if you had to think about it, what would it be? I don't know. I guess being killed by a really scary person in a dark room all alone? Ooh, I've never heard that one before. <laughs> I love it. You seem really awesome, but you do say some weird things sometimes. Anyways, I guess it's my turn. Hmm, who should I ask? Hey, party people, it's time for cake. Come on upstairs. Cake? Just one sec, Mom. We'll be done soon. Okay. I only pick dares. Perfect. I dare you to hold your head underwater for two minutes. What? No, I can't do that. I'll die. Chicken. It's okay, Josh. I think she's just joking, right? Oh, yeah, totally. Later that night. Holy moly, girly. That was the tastiest birthday cake I've ever had. It's a special family recipe. What's the secret recipe? Well, it wouldn't be a secret if I told you. Oh, uh, I feel super sick. I don't feel well. I think I eat too much cake. Uh,
moments later. This is bad. This is really bad. And I don't know if I'm going to make it. And it's all because the new girl invited me to her birthday. Oh, right. I should be quiet, shouldn't I? Yeah, well, I'm in a bit of a pickle because of the new girl. <coughs> what happened to ice cream cake and goodie bags at birthday parties? If this is the future, then I don't want it. <laughs> That's for being a follower and not your own person. To the rest of you, I will find you and I will get you. Come on, Kenzie, where are you? I wonder where her mom is. Mackenzie, are you in here? Rose, honey. Yes, mother. What is taking so long? Uh, can't you just let me have a little bit of fun for once? We don't have all night. It's time to wrap this up sooner rather than later. Why is that? We have them right where we want them. What could possibly go wrong now? I'm serious, Rose. Finish this up or else. But I'm just a baby. Rose. Okay, fine, fine. What am I supposed to do? If I go there, I'll most likely die. But if I stay in here, I'll most likely die. Ah, please, no, please don't kill me. I'll do anything. Really? You'll do anything I want? Jeez, Curly, you scared me to death. I thought that was it. I thought it was finished for sure. We're not dying in here. We just needed to escape. And I think I've got the perfect plan. Really? What is it? Okay, so we just need to find the power box in the house so we can unlock all the doors and run to get help. Oh my goodness, Curly, that is genius. But where on earth would that be? See, now that's the tricky part. I have absolutely no idea. We should find weapons first so we can attack the new girl and then ask her where the power box is. That is way too risky. Fair point. We'll stick to the original plan. We just have to be very stealthy. Agreed. Okay, let's do this. I say we look downstairs in the basement first. Good idea. The basement is this way, I think. Perfect. Oh, it smells awful down here. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Candy, shh, we need to be quiet or else we're gonna get caught. There you two are. We've been looking all over for you. Oh no, this is the end. I love you, Sky. Pathetic soap story later. Oh, I hope you're still alive, Sky. Where is everyone? They're downstairs. Come on, follow me. Oh, no, 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 no. Where's Sky? Where's Sky? Hey, George. I did that search you asked me to do, and there's no one new to the city named Rose, and no teacher at Brookhaven saw or remembers a girl named Rose. Copy that. Freeze! I know you're the killer, Mackenzie, and I am arresting you for the murders of Josh, Ashley, and Ayla. You're going to jail for a very long time. But I swear, it wasn't me. Tell that to the judge. Breaking news here in Brookhaven. Mackenzie is dropping her plushie tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So make sure you go to HeyCuties.com to be the first to get one. Wait, wait, but that's not all. Every plushie comes in a super cute pink heart bag. And inside the plushie's backpack, you'll find these special cutie stickers. But that's not all. If you order within the first 10 days, you'll have a chance of winning one of 100 autograph cards signed by me. Wow, I know what I'm gonna 
be doing tomorrow morning. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Anyway, so in today's role playing video, me and my best friend Sky are having a slumber party. And it was all going great until our school bullies showed up. Yippee! Friday already! My absolute favorite day of the week! I know I'll ask Sky to come over tonight for a slumber party! We'll watch movies and eat popcorn. Ooh, I'm already excited. Today's gonna be the best day ever! Good morning, Mom! Good morning, Mackenzie. Did you sleep well? Did I ever? Hey, Mom, can Sky come over after school for a slumber party? Please, 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 with a cherry on top. Of course she can, sweetheart. I'll go to the grocery store today and get some of your guys' favorite snacks. Yes! Don't forget the cotton candy ice cream. Of course. How could I ever forget? Have a great day at school. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Sky! Good morning, girly. Are you ready for school? Absolutely. And guess what? No, Beck is single. What? No, I wish. But I asked my mom this morning if we could have a slumber party after school today, and she said yes! Oh, yippee! I love slumber parties! Yay, we'll do all the fun things in the movies that the girls do at slumber parties. We'll paint our nails, gossip, watch Disney movies, oh, and stuff our face with snacks. Yay, I love snacks! Me too! Now come on, let's go to school! Moments later. Uh, I wish we didn't have to go to math class. I know, right? Why do we even have to learn math? Yeah. Sky, look, it's Josh. He looks so handsome in that shirt. Kenzie, he wears that shirt every day. I know, but it still looks so good on him. I think he's walking this way, girly. Oh my gosh, what do I do? My heart is beating out of my chest. What if I pee myself? Well, if you do pee your pants, just cough three times and I'll walk in front of you. Hey, Mackenzie. Oh, uh, hey, Josh. What's up? You busy this weekend? Um, well, I'm having a slumber party with Sky tonight, but for the rest of the weekend, I'm free. Well, I was wondering if you wanted to study for the math test on Monday together. I would love to. I mean, like, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I'm stumped on a few questions, so maybe you could help me too. Me too. Wow, Kenzie, I feel like you really understand me. All right, then I'll see you at my house on Sunday. Cool? Totally cool. Awesome. See you then. Sky, Sky, did you hear that? Josh just asked to do homework with me. No way. Really? Girly, that's so awesome. But does that mean we have to cancel our slumber party tonight? Of course not, silly. I would never put a boy before our friendship, ever. I'm going over to his house on Sunday. Then the slumber party is back on. It was never off. Woo, woo, woo. What is this I'm hearing about? A slumber party? Don't you know slumber parties are for babies? Go mind your own business, Ashley. Slumber parties are like totally lame, which makes you guys like totally lame too. Yeah, labels. Why? What's wrong with slumber parties? I think totally awesome. It's just a bunch of children sitting around playing stupid games and watching dumb movies. I'm way more mature than that. I'd rather hang out with boys and make TikToks instead. Oh, then you two can sit alone and be boring while Kenzie and I have the most fun ever. Go ahead. Just know that it'll make you guys losers for life. Don't worry, Sky. Forget about them. I don't care what they say. You and can do whatever we want. It's a free country. All right, come on. Let's go to class before Mr. Ross kicks our butts. A lot of boring math later. Yay, it's the weekend. It's the weekend. It's the weekend. Hey, no more time to wait, and the slumber party starts now. Come on, Kenzie. My mom's here. She'll take us to your house. Hey, girls, hop in. We'll take you home, Kenzie. Mom, I'm going over to Mackenzie's house tonight for a slumber party, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Pardon me, young lady? is no way to ask your mom for permission. Oh, okay, mom. Can I please have a sleepover at Mackenzie's house tonight? Her mommy will take care of us, I promise. Of course you can. Now, come on, let's go. Moments later. Mom, I'm home. Hi, Mrs. Mackenzie's mom, Mia. Hey, girls. You two ready for your exciting slumber party? Are we ever? We haven't been able to stop talking about it all day. Yeah, it's like the only thing that got us through school today. All those classes Oh, don't be silly, Sky. even though you might not like school now. You're gonna be grateful for all the memories you had when you get old like me. Hey, Mom, did you get the cotton candy ice cream from the grocery store? Of course I did. Now that you mentioned the grocery store, I ran into the sweetest mom while I was paying for the groceries today. She said that her daughter and her best friend go to your 
their school. Oh, that's nice. Maybe Sky and I know them. So I went ahead and invited their mom and the girls over to join your slumber party tonight. Who did what? Well, mom, who is it? Oh, they're here. Mom, this better not be lame or else you owe me a shopping spree. Only losers and weirdos live on this side of town. Ashley, don't be silly. Teresa was so kind to invite us over. I expect you to be on your best behavior. Karen, welcome, guys. Come on in. Ashley? Mackenzie? Sky? Ayla! Oh, would you look at that, Karen? Our girls already know each other. Aw, how precious. Mom, you didn't tell me the slumber party was going to be at Mackenzie's house. This is going to be the latest slumber party in the history of the world. I thought you said slumber parties were for babies. Why are you even here in the first place? Well, uh, yeah. for babies. But when I have slumber parties, they're like totally cool. Mom, do they have to stay here? There are enemies. Mackenzie Grace Turner, don't be rude. They are our guests. Mom, seriously, can we leave? We actually hate each other. Oh, don't be silly now, girls. That's a bunch of baloney. Why don't the four of you go upstairs and play Roblox together? You guys will have so much fun. Ugh, this is so stupid. Fine. You heard Mackenzie's mom. Now run along, you two. Ugh, you owe me big Moments later. Well, now that we're officially stuck with each other, what do you guys want to do? I think we should watch Frozen and eat ice cream. We should sneak out and meet up with boys. Or we could give each other makeovers. All of those ideas are stupid. I don't want to do anything with you guys. Come on, Ashley. We literally have no choice. There's nothing we can do about it. So we might as well have some fun. Well, then I want to make TikToks. I don't want to waste time that I can use getting famous. Well, it seems we're not going to get anywhere arguing on what we should do. Why don't we flip a coin to decide? Huh? What's flip a coin? Someone flips a coin and depending on which side it lands on decides what we'll do tonight. Eh, it's not the worst idea. <gasps> Did Ashley just like my idea? I thought this day would never come. Shut up before I go over there and make you. Make me then. I'd like to see you try. All right, all right. Calm down. Ayla and I will go first. Okay, Ayla. Heads or tails? some ice cream and you know i can't say no to bubblegum ice cream you like bubblegum oh my gosh bubblegum is my favorite flavor too no way that's so cool later that same evening bye josh are we still studying on sunday of course we are i kind of need you to pass i'm kind of like a good luck charm huh yeah you could say that bye jack see you guys later guys this is the best night of my life i bet it was josh is like totally obsessed with you, girly. I think so, too. Maybe one day we can get married. Kenzie and Josh sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. All right, losers, let's get back to your house. I'm kind of freezing out here. Stop calling us losers, Ashley. Mackenzie's letting you sleep over at her house. You should be nicer to us. Ugh, all right, fine, but only until we go back to school. Okay, fine by me. Moments later. Uh, Do we have to? Can't we just do what we want now? Maybe if I ask my mom nicely, 
It still just take us home. Ashley, if we do whatever we want, this wouldn't be a slumber party. Let's just make tonight as fun as we can because it's gonna be all over tomorrow. Whatever, fine. Now it's Sky versus Ashley. Should we make TikToks or watch a movie? Ready to flip a coin? I hope I win. I can't wait to watch Frozen. Okay, Sky, heads or tails? Tails. All right, here it goes. And it's tails. Yay, Frozen, Frozen, Frozen. Ugh, whatever. I guess it's fair since we hung out with boys for Ayla. Are you agreeing with us, Ashley? This is a first. You didn't hear anything, loser. I mean, Mackenzie. Besides, I've never seen Frozen before. What? You've never seen Frozen? Well, then you're in for a real treat, Ashley. Come on, let's go. Later that night. All right, guys, it's getting late. I think we should go to bed. Oh, man, I wish we could watch that movie over and over again. To be honest, I actually really like that movie. Yeah, and this song today was so catchy. See, I knew you'd like it. All right, now you guys go upstairs and sleep on the bed, and me and Sky will just sleep on the couch. Seriously, Kenzie, you're going to give your bed to the biggest bullies in school? Well, Sky, Ayla and Ashley did have to sacrifice as much as we did by having a slumber party. It's the least I could do. Plus, they're not too bad. Thanks, Mackenzie. I actually had fun tonight. Yeah, even when we didn't get to do something we wanted, we still had a fun time because we were all together. Aw, Ayla, that was really sweet. Don't get used to this because once we are back to school, you guys are losers again. I can't let anyone see me being nice to you guys. That's fine with me. Kenzie and I will know that deep down inside that cold heart of yours, there's some niceness in there. All right, sleep tight, you guys. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Laura. The Hey Cuties collection is live right now at HeyCuties.com. We've got the most adorable Varsity Hey Cuties sweatshirt and also the Hey Cuties fanny pack that can be worn around your waist or over your shoulder. So go and get the Hey Cuties collection. You do not want to miss it. Back to you, Laura. <laughs> Laura? Laura? Oh my god, I gotta get everything on HeyCuties.com before it sells out. <laughs> I just can't believe you're having a baby. I mean, I know this is technically yours and Josh's thing, but it really just feels like it's our thing, too. I mean, who's known you longer? You have. Exactly, and I'm going to be taking my duties as an aunt very seriously, starting with the baby shower, ooh, and the nursery, and getting all the teeny tiny little clothes. Guys, slow down. We have like four months. The baby isn't even here yet. Oh, you would never be too early on these things. I mean, babies need a lot of stuff, and I need to be prepared. I guess I can start on the little things now, but the fun stuff really starts when you find out the gender. From the app I downloaded on my phone, it seems like we're only about a week or so away about being able to find out what its real gender is. Yeah, Sky, about that. And once I know if it's a boy or a girl, I can go ahead and either get all the pink or the blue clothes and the baby shower theme and stuff for the nursery. Of course, bowls if it's a girl and a little baby basketball cap if it's a boy. But of course, I'll love it no matter what it is. I feel like I have to say that, right? Right, but Sky. Now, who's gonna be the first one to find out the gender? You and Josh and, well, me, of course. Because I'm just as much a part of this as you guys are. Even though the baby isn't gonna look like me, I sure hope it'll act like me. Sky, we're not finding out the gender, okay? <laughs> Sky, please, please say something. What? You're not finding out what? I'm sorry, but Josh and I think it'll be a better surprise if we wait to find out once the baby comes out. I don't care what Josh thinks. He's not a part of this. Well, technically, yes, he is. But, but he, not as much as your best friend is. I can't wait another four months, girly. Think about what that'll do to me. You're having a baby. That's enough of a surprise. <gasps> Ooh, what if we throw you a gender reveal party? That way, it'll still be super special and you'll still get the surprise, but in like a much cooler and more awesome way. Hi. Yeah, I don't know. I love you, girly, but hear me out when I say I'll be finding out what this baby is no matter what. Okay, I am officially scared. You should be, girly. You should be. Moments later. Hey, you're home. Yeah, I just went to meet Sky for some coffee. Are pregnant women even allowed to have coffee? Yes, that's just some horrible rumor that some coffee hater started. So I think we might have a teensy, teensy, weensy, beansy little problem. Oh, no. What's wrong? Please don't tell me anything is actually wrong because I love our life right now. I've got the prettiest girlfriend in the world and we're about to have a baby. Aw, 
Aw, Josh, I love our life too, but nothing is wrong wrong. It's nothing like something is really wrong. It's more like... Honey, please, please stop saying wrong. Of course, it's Sky. She really wants to find out the gender of the baby. Like, to the point that if we don't tell her, I'm afraid she's gonna die. But I thought we agreed to wait until he or she is born so that we could be surprised. Yeah, I know we did, and that was the original plan, but I mean, there are some positives to knowing early. Like, we could get the room started and maybe pick out a name. And also, it's just like really, really important to Sky. Well, it's nice Sky's invested, but come on, Kenzie. Isn't it our baby? Shouldn't we do what's right for us? Well, of course, but she is my best friend. And I want the godmother of her future child to be happy too, right? I get that, but I don't really care what Sky wants. When she has a baby someday, she can make all of those decisions. Look, it's really important for her to throw us a gender reveal party. At first, I didn't really see the big deal about us finding out the gender, but now that I know that there's a party, I mean, come on, who doesn't want a party? I, I don't know. There will be cake, either pink or blue cake. That doesn't sway someone who's not pregnant as much as you think it does. Okay, listen up, buddy. Doesn't the person who actually is having the baby get the final say? Fine, but let's just make sure we decide together. Of course. The next day. So Okay, seriously though, he does not want to find out. I mean, I think he's coming around though. What? Did you not pull the pregnancy card? I might have, but I really need to stop that because he said I only get so many a month and I'm running out real quick here. Hey, uh, by the way, why did you want to meet again today? Uh, you're my best friend. Do we need a reason to meet? I like seeing you every day. No, but you listed a specific street corner and time we needed to meet at, which makes me feel like you kind of wanted to kidnap me. Oh, hey, don't be silly, but if I may suggest something why don't we walk just a little bit further down shall we guy okay something is going on please just tell me Psh, there is nothing to tell you i don't know why you're being so weird you are weird today girly now come on we need to get our exercise in so we can start shedding off all those pregnancy pounds that you're gonna be putting on there guy where are we going where are we going don't worry about it don't worry about it but come on could you walk a little faster or we're gonna be late it's gonna be late to where? Uh, Sky, why are we in front of the hospital? Oh gosh, are you sick? No, no, I'm not sick at all. But why don't we just take a quick little jaunt in there and yeah, let's go. Meanwhile. Hi, this is my best friend. She's having a baby. Well, yeah, but like not right now. Usually you don't come into the hospital to just tell them you're having a baby. You usually just come in to actually have it. Yeah, my name is Sky. I called this morning about the secret undercover mission. What? What kind of hospital has a secret undercover mission, Sky? What is going on? Wait, is this even really a hospital? Ah, yes, the secret undercover mission. Got it. Go into room one and the curtain should be there. Okay, come on, Kenzie. Let's go. Why are we going into a room? Why is there a bed in here? I'm not sick. Just lay down right there. Sky, are you going to tell me what's going on? Hello there. You must be Mackenzie. I understand we're finding out the gender of your baby today. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're tricking me to find out the gender of my baby. I was right. You did kidnap me. No, don't be silly. I didn't kidnap you. Uh, she seems to be accepting this well, Doc. No need for the handcuffs. Handcuffs? What? I said there's no need for them. Look, I know you want to be surprised, and you still will be. How am I supposed to be surprised if we're literally finding out right now? Well, there's a twist, girly. I'm the only one that's going to find out today. Exactly. Once I know the gender, I will put it in a sealed envelope for Sky and Sky only. Hence the big gender reveal party. I'm the only one who's going to know the secret, and my lips are sealed, meaning you and Josh will be just as surprised. Okay. I guess so, as long as finding out doesn't require any needles. Nope, no needles necessary. Now, why don't you lay down just right here? Okay, well, look at that. I'm the only one that knows now. All right, very good. And this is for you, Sky. Okay, now I'm the only one who knows. You better guard that envelope with your life, Sky. Psh, no worries, girly. I am just gonna run to the bakery so they'll know whether or not to fill the cake with pink or blue filling. I am so gonna get her back when she has a baby. Several days later. Why are you wearing pink and blue? People are gonna think we're having twins. No, this way I'm right no matter what it is. Huh? What's wrong, Josh? Why do you look sad? I don't know. I guess I'm just a little bit bummed out to be finding out. What about you? Okay, I know I wasn't thrilled at 
first, but I am so excited now. I mean, Josh, we're gonna be finding out for having a son or a daughter. Within the next hour, Sky was right. Who could wait? Well, I guess if you put it that way, it is pretty exciting. It's the most exciting. I mean, come on, it's our gender reveal. Moments later. I can't believe we're gonna find out in just a few minutes. Okay, guys, inside of the cake, it is either pink or or blue pink for a girl and blue for a boy thanks guy i think we got that much of it figured out hey i'm just making sure everyone knows how it works okay so any last guesses girl i think it's a girl i've always wanted to be a daddy's girl oh that is so sweet what about you girly hmm because josh said girl i'm just gonna say boy yeah i think it's a boy and boys are super fun yeah as long as you change their diaper super quickly so they don't pee on you now is everybody gonna ask me what I think it is? No, Sky, because you're the only one that actually knows. Okay, well, I wasn't gonna really tell you. I just wanted to feel included. No big deal. All right, are you guys ready? So ready. Now that it's here, I just want to know. Okay, we're gonna find out in five, four, three, two. Uh, Sky, the inside of the cake is just white. Do we need, like, special glasses to see if it's, like, pink or blue? It's just white what does white mean does it mean we're having an angel what why would it mean that white for an angel black for a devil right no 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 i specifically told them exactly what right color to use and it was not white i can tell you that to turn baker and mess it all up well what does that mean does that mean we're not finding out sky can you just tell us no there's no fun in that come with me girly we're gonna teach that bakery a lesson a few moments later you didn't say the bakery you went to was all the way in Barry Avenue. Sky, we're gonna miss the whole party. Hey, listen, it's not my fault I want the best for you. If the bakery in Barry Avenue is known for making the best cakes, clearly I'm going to come all the way down to Barry Avenue to get it. I mean, how great could they be? They forgot to put the gender in it. Hello there, do you remember me? Uh, well, we do have a lot of clients. Well, I was the one who came in the other day to get a gender reveal cake for a baby. La, 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 I can't hear you, so don't spoil the gender for me. Sorry, I was here for a very specific gender reveal cake that had either the color pink or blue inside it, and it was just white. You forgot the gender. Oh, no, I had someone come in and request just a white cake for their wedding. I wonder if I accidentally switched the cake. Well, if so, they're going to be having a very colorful wedding. Look, the gender reveal party is today. We need a cake with the correct gender, so this goes perfectly for my bestie. Okay, uh, give me a second here. Uh, I hope I don't lose my bakery over this mistake. Don't worry, you're not gonna lose the bakery. Everyone loves cake. It would be criminal to shut it down. Okay, well, I can make you a new cake, like, right now to make up for the inconvenience. Really? You could? Guy, that would mean we would find out the gender of our baby today. Girly, did you seriously just take a cupcake? Hey, it's mid-afternoon and I haven't gotten any cake yet. What did you expect? Later that same evening. Huh, I don't get it. This cake looks exactly the same. No, no, no. The baker assured us that this one has the color of the gender in it. I don't know. I'm suddenly nervous now. Josh, why are you nervous? What happens if we cut into it and it's black this time? What if we're having a devil, baby? Okay, first of all, we're not having a devil. Second of all, we're gonna love them no matter what. The gender doesn't even matter as long as the baby is healthy. I know we're all making this a big deal about the gender reveal, but it doesn't even really matter. Uh, it kind of does. Okay, well, let's find out then on three ready one two three <gasps> it's a girl 